our experience being hassled off the Caribbean side of Nicaragua on the way to Panama, we decided to bypass all of Central America and north of Costa Rica. We made an offshore passage of roughly 900 nautical miles from northern Costa Rica to Acapulco, Mexico. Although we didn't run into any sustained winds or rough conditions in the notorious Gulf of Tehuantepec, we did pass through some squalls with strong wind gusts that ended up blowing out our main sail along a seam near the top. We later figured out it was rotted thread from exposure to UV. Other than the torn sail, the passage was smooth and conditions were good, and we even managed to catch a few nice Dorado along the way. arrived in the busy Mexican city of Acapulco and made arrangements to clear into the country. We hired an agent to bring all the required authorities down to the marina, which made clearing in relatively painless. A trip to town for a meal that we didn't have to cook was a nice end to our first day in Acapulco. Where are we going right now, Betty? El Amigo Miguel. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We're going for lobster dinner on El Capitan. <laughs> was dedicated to trying to get our blown out mainsail repaired. We did some research and asked around, but there didn't appear to be a normal sail loft anywhere in the city. Some super helpful locals on the dock ended up getting in touch with someone that knew how to repair sails and called him down to the marina to take a look. He has the, sail, the, the same material. Okay. Okay, the, the... okay ¿cómo le va a hacer aquí? Okay. 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 Yeah. So we're gonna put number one on that one. Oh, number one. Yes. Well, I mean, how did that come out of there? Uh, yeah, it was in the back. We just went to direction. This direction, yeah. See? Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna label this mast. Okay. Yeah, that mast I can understand. That's one term I understand. The locals on the dock were super generous with their time and even helped to unfurl and remove our sail and remove all the battens so that it could be easily transported in a small car. We had relatively low expectations, but not only did the damaged section get re-sewn and patched expertly, 
The guy also added reinforcing stitches along all of the other seams that had similar UV damage to the panel that blew out. As a bonus, it was way less money for the repair than what we would have paid in the States, so we call that a big success. Fueling in Acapulco was an adventure. We had to have our port agent arrange for us to take on 700 gallons of diesel and then med more at an angle to a concrete wall with super heavy surge in the harbor. We kept the main engine running with one person at the helm in case we needed to put the boat in gear to avoid hitting the port quarter of Adam Marie against the wall. We did manage to fuel the boat without damage, and the way they handled sending us the bill and taking payment when it was all over was nothing less than comical. Shows how much energy is in the line. the rag. That's, that's, that's like the information transfer to the Nicaraguan military. <laughs> We're in Acapulco. My credit card is going to go into a wet rag. Oh, the Deltoids box. Tobacco box. Like full service gasoline. Yes, Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, subscribe to our channel.